Hey boys, it's Armnan. Today we're going to be customizing the Emperor Vector in Grand Theft Auto Online. I've been getting uh, quite a few requests to customize this thing while it's on sale this week, so I figured today is the day. So to start off with, uh, with the armor, we're going to go all the way up on that. Of course, the brakes as well. For the bumpers, we do have quite a few options for this vehicle. I actually forgot how many options this thing has. That's like a Nissan Sentra front bumper, uh, which is really interesting. Um, for my other Emperor Vector build, I went really, really subtle on it. Um, so I think that we're going to go a little crazier on this thing. I'm going to go for the arc bumper. Um, I kind of like that. I feel like it looks pretty good. For the rear splitter, though, we got uh, we got some crazy options here. They, oh my god, these look insane. I do really like this. Um, let's go for the race bumper for the rear bumper. I think that looks pretty good the engine um the engine block honestly i've kind of realized that there's not much point in customizing this because when do i ever lift my hood so i think i'm actually just gonna leave it stock um, unless i see something that, like i really really like but honestly i really don't the strut brace is kind of pointless too um but i mean you know it, it's cool that they have the option but for me i'm just gonna leave it alone because I spent a lot of money on car customizations and it's really just not super worth it. So anyway, for the exhaust, we are going to uh, have a look here. I do like the slash cut exhausts. I feel like those look pretty good. So we'll go for those. For the fenders, we can, of course, add arc fenders onto this thing. Um, I think we have the arc front bumper. Um, so you know what? We'll add the arc fenders as well. Why not? Um, it, it's almost lined up with the wheels. So like, it's not that bad. We'll go for it. Headlight covers, of course, we can add these. Um, We'll go for iridescent uh, headlight glass just because it's a little bit cooler, a little bit different. Uh, we can add hood catches to this thing as well. Um, let's go for the angled hood pins. I like those. Let's go for those. Uh, and for the hood, we have quite a few different options here. Um, I want to go for something pretty aggressive. If you guys couldn't tell, I want to go kind of aggressive on this build. Um, like I said, I went super subtle with my last customization of this car. So I think we're going to go for the skid hood. Um, because yeah, I want to go kind of nuts with this thing because I've never done that before. Uh, for the dash, we will go for the uh, carbon dash and the stripped interior. I like that look. Uh, for the door cards, we will go for the carbon weave panels. I like those. For the seats, of course, uh, you know what? Let's go for the red rally seats. I mean, they're carbon fiber. They look pretty sick. We'll go for that. Oh, and uh, oops, I missed something here. Uh, my favorite wheel is the rally clubman, so we'll go for that. And for the roll cage, uh, We'll go for like the crazy roll cage. Why not? I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's do that. Like I said, it's going to be a race car, so might as well. Uh, for the livery. Now, this is where things are going to get a little more interesting. Uh, we have ooh, speed orange. Why do I not remember that livery? That's kind of sick. Uh, we got the Wee Wang stripes, the Wee Wang gold, uh, black premier, green premier. Okay, interesting. Uh, we got katana, uh, katana black. Oh, interesting. Okay. Uh, we have the Stance and Treas livery as well, and that's it. Ooh. Um, I guess we'll go for, like, Wee Wang Gold. I kind of like that look. I feel like it looks pretty good, so we'll do that. For the mirrors, we will go carbon on those, of course. Uh, yellow and black for the plate, as always. For the respray on the car, this is where things are going to get a little interesting. We used the crew color on the Calico, so I don't really want to use the crew color again. Um, so we'll go for something a little bit different. Um, I don't know what I want to go for though. The gold looks so good. Maybe like gold on bronze. I don't know. That actually looks kind of bad. Um, what can we do here? I feel like it would look good on a blue. Maybe a diamond blue. Ooh, it's a little like too bright for my liking, but uh, maybe we can go. Ooh, surf blue looks okay. You know what? I kind of want to check out the silvers. Like, what if we go for like a bluish silver with the gold and black? I think that looks kind of good. Let's let's see what this looks like for the uh, with the secondary color in uh, blue or silver as well. Uh, the trim color, mm, oh, we can accent that like kind of nicely actually. Maybe we should go for something a little more interesting. Let's go for let's go for an ultra blue. Why not? Um, accent color. Oh, this is for the gauges. Let's go ultra blue on that as well. Just ultra blue the entire car. Whatever. Who cares? Uh, for the roof. Okay, roof accessories. We can change the antenna color. I do like the secondary fin because it matches up with the um, with the color of the livery. So that is kind of cool. We also have the uh, the racer wings here though. Those are kind of sick. You know what? Let's go for it. Why not? Uh, for the roof, we can change the color of it. You know, this, this is one of those rare occasions where I think I'm actually not going to go for the carbon roof. Uh, we'll go for the ridgeline roof instead. Um, usually I always go carbon roof. I think it looks great. But on this build, we're, we're going to avoid it actually today. So 
Uh, we'll see what we got for skirts here. There are some pretty crazy looking ones. The carbon track skirts are interesting looking. Um, I kind of, ooh, carbon arrow skirts look so good though. So we're going to go for those. Why not? Uh, for the splitter. Now this is where we can go insane with this car, I believe. I'm pretty sure there's some pretty crazy split. Yes, there are some pretty crazy splitter options. Let's go for, I don't know how crazy I want to go. Maybe the carbon drift splitter. Let's go for that. I don't want to go too insane with it. Uh, for the spoiler now, we have quite a few options I already know of. Um, the primary ducktail just does look so damn good, but uh, I think I want to go for something a little different today. The GT spoiler? Yo, that's sick. Why is the GT spoiler so cool? Um, okay, we're going for the GT spoiler. That looks actually crazy. I really like that look. Uh, we'll do that. For the sun strip, I don't really want one. Um, it doesn't look that great in my opinion, so I'm just going to leave that off. Uh, this is one of those cars that you always want to slam down because the handling just gets improved so much with that. So we're going to do that. Race transmission, uh, turbo as well. Let's put those on. Um, for the wheels, do we want to go for some carbon rims on this thing? I feel like carbon rims look really good on this car, uh, especially with all the carbon accenting we've got. Let's go for the Cheetah Carbon Rs. I, I do like those. Um, for the wheel color, we could go black. We could also try to find, maybe there's a gold that'll match up with the uh, gold on the car. I feel like there probably isn't though. Yeah, there's there really just isn't. So we'll go for black just because why not? Uh, bulletproof tires, of course we will add those. Tire design, let's add it because why not, I guess. And then because this is a race car, like I think I'm actually gonna leave it untinted. I don't know, like maybe I should tint it. What do you guys think? I know I can't hear you guys talking right now because the video will be out by the time you guys see it, but um, huh, I don't know. Do we tint the windows? Let's see. They do look kind of good tinted though. You know what? Okay, first time ever, we'll go for a light smoke tint. Crazy, I know. Uh, that is it for the customization. Hold on though, one second. I almost want to change the livery. Yeah, the speed orange stripes do look really good, but I do like the Wee Wang. I think it looks so sick. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to have to keep it. So let's take this thing outside. We're going to do a sound test and a full review on the car. All right, so to start off, I already know that this thing sounds incredible, but you guys have got to hear it. So let's take a listen. Sounds great, obviously. Um, it shares the same sound as the Lampadaddy Komoda, I think it is, and the Oslo XA21, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so sounds really, really damn good. Um, the Emperor Vector, in my opinion, is one of the better cars to use in uh, in the pursuit races. Well, really in any of the LS car meet races. I think it's, it's just one of the best cars to use. It's my personal favorite, actually. Um, obviously, there's a lot of guys that like the Calico. There's some guys that like the Sultan RS Classic as well. Um, and then there's some guys that like the Vector, and I am one of those guys for sure. Um, I think that the Emperor Vector handles absolutely phenomenally. Uh, it is all-wheel drive, which definitely helps with uh, with traction and everything like that, especially off the line. Uh, but coming out of corners and stuff like that too is, you know, it, it does help with that as well. Um, now, the overall handling ability on the Vector, I would say, is probably its best feature. It doesn't have the crazy acceleration or the crazy top speed that the Calico GTF has, but it definitely has much better handling, in my opinion, as I crash into a bunch of objects. Anyway, uh, oh, okay, well, it's not getting any better. Oh, awesome. Oh, good. Yep. Mm -hmm. As I was saying, um, the Vector, in my opinion, has the best handling. Um, out of the Tunis DLC cars, it may, maybe not the best out of all of them, but it's definitely uh, my preferred one for actually racing with. It does have a degree of understeer, which does kind of make me mad, but it's nowhere near as bad as the Calico GTF, so thank goodness for that. I also like the look of the Vector. Obviously, it's based off of a Lexus RCF in real life, uh, which is a, you know, it's an interesting car. Um, not necessarily one that I like really love, but uh, you know, it's got a, it's got a cool design at least. And you know, there's lots of aftermarket parts and stuff. Hence this thing having so much customization. Um, so, you know, the Vector, it really is a good car. It only costs like $1.2 million right now with the, uh, with the sale on, uh, which is not a bad price. If you guys are looking for a tuners DLC car to pick up, that's got, you know, good customization. That's fast. It's fun to drive. The Vector is a good option for you guys for sure. Um, I do have to say, I, I really do like this car. I think that it, it truly is um, one of the one of the top five, probably two news DLC vehicles um, in terms of, you know, today's GTA Online. Um, I have previously ranked 
all of the two news DLC vehicles. If you're interested in that, go check that video out. Um, however, that was pre-nerf. Um, and the obviously the two news DLC vehicles, if you didn't know, oh my god, good good god. The two news DLC vehicles were nerfed when the contract DLC came out, so um, things have changed quite a bit. Uh, the cars are all slower than they used to be. Um, and just generally like not quite as good but some of those some of the cars because of the nerf have uh, started to shine a little bit more like the vector for example the vector i think i ranked it at like number 10 or something in my uh, in my original ranking but since the nerf this thing i would say is probably in my top five it's really really good it's really fun to race just overall a great car i mean it sounds phenomenal as well Really, there's nothing bad about the Vector, in my opinion. I mean, it's got that slight understeer, like I said, but other than that, I mean, it's a great car. Great car for free mode, great car to race with. You might lose to a Calico, especially on the straightaways, but if it's a really twisty circuit, I do think that the Vector just is the better car. However, that is just my opinion, of course. You guys might like the Calico, you guys might like the Salt and RS Classic, you guys might like the Comet S too, which, go figure, but anyway. Yeah, so I mean, the Vector, it's a good car to pick up, especially while it's on sale. I mean, you really cannot go wrong with this thing. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for the customization and review today. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you want to see more like this, let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, of course. Subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.